Hey guys, okay, so I am back and I'm going to review a product that I've been using since like last year or year before last, December. And it's my MAC, what is this, the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation with SPF 50. And this is in the color NC45. This is my shade in MAC. So, as you can see, the bottle is still full. It's pretty much like new. And that's because I don't really like this foundation that much. So, first of all, let's talk about the packaging. I like this bottle. It's very cute. And when I first looked at it, I was like, what, $26, $28 for this? Like, seriously? But when you use the product, it it's very blendable. Um, you only need a little bit, you don't need a lot to, for your face to be covered. And trust me, if you put a lot of this on, you will look like a made up doll. And for me, I don't like that look. I really like the, you know, natural kind of look. So I only use like a few drops, like I dab my finger on the top of the bottle and then I like dot on my face and then just rub it in because if I just apply it regularly, then it will be a problem. The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a pump. <laughs> Why are you paying attention? My mother just had to watch it in my video. But anyway, yeah. Um, it doesn't have a pump. And that can be annoying because this thing can be very messy and the formula is extremely liquidy like watery type liquidy so it will spill very easily um with this kind of foundation this is actually lighter than my actual skin tone so i would not wear this in the summer i could only wear this like in the winter when my skin is lighter but if i wanted to if I blended it in really well or use very very little of this, I could wear this but I'll have to put my mineralized skin finish in dark over it. And this is the natural one. So yeah. I would give this because of my personal preference and what I like in foundations, I would give this a 3 out of 5 stars mainly because I don't like the made up type Barbie doll type look unless I would only wear this like I said in the winter and if I'm going to like a special event like a wedding a photo shoot or something like that then I would put this on but as for an everyday foundation no this is not it it's really not it um, for people who really like the flawless skin um, want to be made up perfect looking skin type look then this is for you. This will be the perfect foundation for you. It has perfect coverage. Um, you don't need a lot. Very blendable. It blends into your skin very easily. It doesn't clog your pores. Like I don't get any breakouts with this thing. But it makes me... I have oily skin and I think it makes me oilier. That's the only thing I think. So I would give this a 3 out of 5 stars mainly because of my preference. But for those of you, like I said, who want to achieve the flawless face look, this is for you. But I don't think I'd recommend it too much for people with really oily skin like me. And for this kind of heat um, in the Bahamas, you will easily sweat this off. Or so I thought. Like you will get like some transfer if you blotch your face or something like that. But as for the coverage, the coverage will stay on all day through 95 degree Fahrenheit weather in the Bahamas. And it is humid as shit. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, um, this is perfect for you guys who want all day lasting coverage and a flawless face. So for me, 3 out of 5 stars, but for you guys out there who like that type of look, it will be a perfect 5 out of 5. It's well worth the money. It will last you. I thought this little bottle wasn't going to last me, like seriously, but this thing goes a long way. And for $26, I think it was $26 to $28. It's a really good buy. So this will last me for years and years to come and I hope it doesn't expire before I get to use it. But 
It probably will. If it has an expiry date, whatever. So, yeah. That is my take on my Mac Studio Fixed Fluid. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.